All right, goal for today is to not give a F. We're just gonna squat today. That's all that matters. We're just gonna freaking squat. All right, making the decision if this is gonna be my last warm up or if I'm gonna take one in between. We'll see, depending on how it feels and if I can actually feel good while squatting. Oh, you got it. Go. They move. They move decently. I'm just. I don't know, man. Not everything feels heavy. It just feels freaking slow, man. All right. Top set actually moved okay. Watched it back. Moves faster. Came to the conclusion that uh, I'm just gonna talk about it after, honestly, because there's a lot to say. But. Gonna make this a move pretty good too. Got this for five. Gonna just freaking do what needs to be done. Oh, actually, I gotta sit up because leaning back, I just look too bad. Why? 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 Why are you looking at me like that? Sid's looking at me behind me, like, all right. So, let's break down squats for today. So, squats, warming up was eh. Got to last warm up was like I don't know if I'm gonna take the jump from uh, four reds straight to five reds or if I want to go four reds, four reds yellow and then five reds. But ended up just taking the jump because I mean like why not? I feel like the five reds would have moved the same no matter what. I took uh, the bar, I mean not the bar, I took one red, and then I took two reds twice, I'm pretty sure, but feeling good, uh, we have two more weeks left, so I think next week we'll go like 285, and then jump to 305 after that, just like the previous block whenever I hit that 855 kilo training total, um, but yeah, feeling, feeling more motivated than last week, last week's felt terrible, this week just felt like I took five reds. Anything above five reds, just for hitting it for the first time, I'm just like, oh, okay. Uh, but good though, man. I mean, I talked to Joe. I think the major thing is I'm just overthinking a lot. And so I'm overcompensating for like depth, just trying to make sure it's there. Uh, I will put the side angle of my squats right here just to show that it was depth. But no, man, yeah, I'm just, I just have to, he told me to just go in and literally just squat like I always squat. The depth is fine, no reason to overcompensate for depth. And I have to remember to exhale when I'm in that hole. I've just forgotten, I've just decided to 100% bite down on the mouth guard instead of exhaling. Uh, I might actually start training without the mouth guard so I can get that exhale feeling once again. But I think it's good, I think we're feeling good. Here comes Sid. Oh, never mind. <laughs> but no, feeling good though, only have two more primary days i think we're going to be good with those not going not going to overcomplicate the next two uh i think everything will be fine man i, I think that i'm just overstressed uh, i'm letting the not the pressure of other people but the pressure of the judging get to me i'm not worried about the competition with others i'm worried about the competition 
against the judges. That's what I'm worried about. I don't think my squats are high. I just want to make sure they're undeniable no matter what. And that's what I'm getting in my head. I want everything to be perfect so I don't have to worry about anything on meet day. So like I said, the hardest part is training. The meet day is the easy part. So I have to just keep that in mind. I might be stressing right now, but that's okay. I actually want to, the haircut looking nice. You know, got, got the chop yesterday. Birthday coming up in about two weeks. So I got one now, probably will get one the day before my birthday. But shout out also Sid for getting my skincare together because now my skin is looking, ooh, muy caliente. Si, papi, yes. All right, hope she doesn't see this whenever I edit it. I'm gonna make sure I put headphones on, but uh, I saw her shadow. Yeah, I was talking about how um, my face looks good because of you. Yeah. Thank you. I wish I had your skin. Oh my God. Look, we have this skin routine. It's like five steps. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna gatekeep it because I don't want y'all out here trying to take my skincare routine. She, if you want to know about it, maybe ask her, but don't ask me because I'm not going to tell you. I'm hiding it. I just know it got me feeling I love a Lee. But all right, guys, got bench today. Gonna finish it off with that. And then tomorrow is the day we get to train at Aliko. Ah! All right, got to go, bitch. What if I told you I recorded this and didn't have the mic on? Would you believe me? You should, because I did. Uh, <laughs> so that's a wrap for day one of primaries. Tomorrow's day two, you know how we do things. But that was honestly one of the best bitch days I've had. Usually my Larson press day, which you can see on shorts on here on my page because I recorded it yesterday. Uh, that felt really good and usually that's like my best bench day but today felt amazing so hopefully that transitions to tomorrow and we have an amazing day on bench because we get to train at Alico headquarters in austin texas which i'm super excited about super thankful about shout out to one of the higher ups at powerlifting america that got me set up so i can train at Alico headquarters this is going to be a game changer i'm going to be able to feel that carpet and not just be there on the day whenever I tra I compete at Bench Worlds and Classic Worlds. Cause that's my biggest thing. Like deadlift feels good on the Alico carpet. Squat feels good on the Alico carpet. It's literally just bench. And I'm not saying the carpet's trash. I'm just saying that I'm not used to benching on a carpet with little texture. And that's just that's just the honest truth about it. So I have to get used to it. Like I, like I told you guys last a, a few videos ago or last video, Make sure you control all the variables you can. And I'm able to train on some Alico carpet, so I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go and train on some Alico carpet because that's what I'm gonna be competing on. So why not go and do it? And I get to train on a Alico rack with Alico plates. Oh my, like, why would I not do this? So like I said, shout out to the Pilots of America, higher up. Uh, thank you, I greatly appreciate it. Thank you, Alico, in advance for tomorrow. And yeah, man, I'm, feel I'm feeling good. Squad was good today. Squat was a step in the right direction. I wouldn't say it felt perfect, but I mean, I got the job done and it moved like it was supposed to move. So excited about that. Only two more weeks left of this block. And then we switch over to the last block and we get into that meat prep stage. But hey, man, I'm feeling good, feeling amazing. Can't wait to see what I do tomorrow. Make sure you give this video a like and a comment and just do it right now while I'm 
while I'm playing the next day thing. Like, do it now. Like, right now. So, guys. Yes, you can see you in it. <laughs> guys, we are at Alico headquarters in Austin, Texas. Getting the bench on some new stuff. So, we got the new... The new rack they're going to be using at Bench Worlds, and then we have the new carpet. And I know I talked about, like, <laughs> I talked about how we don't like the new carpet, like the old carpet, but now they've changed it, so everything feels good. And there's a new bench pad, so that's exciting too. They told me I'm like the first person in the U.S. to use this, so I'm super excited, super proud, super thankful. Uh, shout out to everyone. I don't know because I just have to look at someone when I'm talking. No, it's okay. Stay right there. Stay right there. Stay right there. It's great. Um, yeah, so ended up doing some warm-ups already, and we're just going to jump straight in. I'm going to take my last warm-up, and then we're going to jump to the top set, and then we're going to be done, and then hit some back-down sets. But appreciate everyone. They're moving the rack for me to deadlift on this next platform because it's going to take this rack. Thankful for these guys. Thank you so much. Let's get this bench done because I don't want to get cold. Great, great, great bench day. Learned a lot. Benching on the new Alico pad and Alico carpet. It's really nice. Love the softness of it. Like, you get a little sinkage, just like it's like an ER or like a, uh, like a little fat pad, like you can sink in a little bit. Uh, the carpet is textured now, so that feels great. Feels good. Uh, just got to come here a little bit more often and, and get more sessions. And I think I figured out the foot drive I need or leg drive I need. Uh, and that's kind of like a a angled and pushing from the outside of my foot in. I know that doesn't make sense saying it, but I got it in my head. <laughs> uh, but great, about to deadlift now on the carpet. I just pressed against the sides like whenever I'm trying to wedge and spread the floor. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. Uh, can't wait for that. Motivational piece for today. All right, this one's for my, my athletes. Uh, don't be afraid <laughs> to ask your coach some questions, man. If you feel like you're not getting something done correctly or you're not feeling like you are doing all that you're capable of, ask some questions. Like, what am I doing wrong? If your coach doesn't say anything and you feel like something's wrong, just ask. But if he tells you nothing's wrong, listen to that. Don't go in there and just be like, oh, well, like, I feel like something's wrong. Don't make a problem out of nothing. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. If you're making gains with it, don't change anything. Even if you feel like something could be better, you're making gains. Think about the change after you stop making gains, you know? Like, why not? Also, don't be afraid to ask people questions because the worst I could say is no. So that was my biggest thing. I was, like, worried to ask if I could come train here. I asked. They said yes. And look at us now. Getting to train on this Lico rack and carpet for the first time in America for Americans, you know? Feels good. But, yeah, man, I'm just excited. Uh, feeling good. Last week was terrible because uh didn't have a good week. But this week, feeling pretty good. Feeling locked in. So only two more weeks after this, and then we'll move on to the next block. Let's get the pulling.
Ok. So much better than last week. Oh my goodness. Sorry about the noise. <sighs> Recap of the day. It's currently... 449 everyone's about to leave here they're kicking us out jk they're not kicking us out we just got done around the same time but all right first let's just discuss how'd you like training here sorry um it was fun i like it it's all brand new and nice and squeaky clean and no one's ever touched it so uh, it was a privilege to touch it for the first time um i yeah, like that a it's, bit louder. i like that it's quiet because i hate loud places mm -hmm. um i like that there's no one here because i don't like anyone Except one person. And a dog. Um, everyone was really nice. And they were really welcoming. And they weren't like, oh, like, be careful. Like, don't put chalk on or like whatever. Even though it's like really brand new, they were really like, no, like, obviously you need chalk to train and all that stuff. So that was really nice of them. And yeah, it was just nice. Nice little, and AC. Mm -hmm. that's, Top, the, that's, that's the best part, <laughs> AC. Well, that's not the best part. The best part is a new brand, like, equipment okay. that's top tier, but all right. Anyways. Uh, you're gonna, oh, you're not... and I got to train with my best friend. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, and then lastly, I'm going to let, because people don't, people, I don't know if you're watching this for the first time or watching me for the first time. This is the first time you've discovered the channel or anything about me, but I am a natural powerlifter. I am tested in and out of meat. And why don't you tell everybody what happened today? Oh, um, so there I was <laughs> in bed, barely studying. I'm in school. Anyways, um, he's playing the video game. Someone knocks. I think it's his present because his birthday's coming up. April 25th. Make oh. sure everyone writes it down. <laughs> Leave your birthday in the comments. <laughs> okay. Um... And someone knocked, and I've been getting a bunch of packages for his birthday. So I was like, if it's a package, don't touch it. Let me go grab it because I don't want you to feel what it is or read what it is. He's like, okay. So then he went and opened the door. Or he went to look, and there was, like, people just standing there with a bunch of, like, briefcases and stuff. And, like, with showing their ID. And he was like, oh. And he got out of meat tested. So he had to uh, do that this today yeah so it was random and they took my blood yeah, <laughs> yeah you can't see that um and they took my urine and they took blood twice there's another one on my arm it's it's crazy because I've, I've been urine tested out of meat and in meat before but i've never been blood tested so that was pretty uh was fast, yeah, it was fast it was fast it wasn't bad it's yeah. just that i don't i'm not like a lover of needles uh, i just don't like seeing them go into my skin so i just turned my head but no, yeah, it was, yeah, it's crazy. Like people don't think that I'm natty. Like they come and test you randomly. They don't tell you. Like even I put, I put a certain time, like a window, a 60 minute window where they can show up any day. So like, I would know they would come between that time, but they didn't come during that time. They came at one and my time is like 6 a.m. And they were like, yeah, it was either come at like 6 a.m. tomorrow or just test it and just see if you were here today. And they were like, if you wouldn't have answered the door, I mean, it wouldn't, it wouldn't have been on, you would have been on us, but. Yeah, they came and tested me. It was random, random. So, randomly tested. I'm natty. Uh, don't know what to tell you. Uh, stop the copium. 
But yeah, guys, it was a great day. We're gonna be training here. Might might switch over and try to train here on my primary days as well. Don't know yet. Gonna make